your original hometown dealer, Saida, Trudeau, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram. You know, I, I looked at Las Vegas, I saw the problems that we're having. It was constantly the same thing over and over again, and I was getting frustrated. So when I really sat down to look at it, and I prayed about it, and, and it just came down to some simple points. I want to make sure Las Vegas is taking care of our children, mm -hmm. our grandchildren, our veterans, our seniors, and our first responders. I want to bring Las Vegas back to being successful, way better success than it ever was before the pandemic because it really crippled the city. I'm the only candidate in my race that has signed a no tax pledge. And I'm not going to raise taxes. There's better ways to bring taxes in on the existing programs. If we continue to develop our infill projects where we bring businesses into empty storefronts, we uh, allow other businesses to grow. We encourage businesses like, like yours, you know, Channel 25 to come into the Valley and start helping out and developing more. Uh, then we don't have to raise taxes. What will you be doing in that ward to help the community? Well, the ward is, is going through an expansion right now and it's expanding out into the Far Hills 215 area. We have another approximately 200,000 residents that are expected to move into that area. And we need to make sure that things are going progressively correct. Uh, we need to make sure we have the infill, of course, we mentioned. We need to make sure we have the infrastructure, which is more than just police and fire. It talks about where you know, we have the water, we have the police, of course, and the fire department, the, the public services that are necessary, the power, uh, and, and, of course, you know, responsible growth. Mm -hmm. You know, we just can't throw 200,000 people into the desert and not expect to have some problems. And so we have to manage that appropriately. And that's where you have staff that works with planning commission and you have staff that works with the uh, utility companies and things like that. And then you're able to bring it in in a way that makes sense because that's the biggest trick right there is ma making it make sense. You know, if, if an area is designed for 200,000 people and you're going to throw 300,000 people in there, you just overtax every resource you had. I want to work with, of course, the first responders because it's it's a good spot for me. I have a lot of experience in there. Uh, I want to work with the uh, planning commission because I do have a background in construction as, as a side business and, and the real estate development. And I've been working with that for the past couple of years during COVID as, as a, a notary for title company. So I've been out seeing the programs that are working. And so I feel very comfortable working in that. Um, budget wise, I'm, I'm pretty good in that area too, because in the military, I managed a multi-million dollar budget. So adding another zero to a budget is really not that big of a deal. Well, I'm a native to Las Vegas. I'm a veteran. I'm a firefighter. I have uh, been tested by fire. I've been tested in the courts. I have stood up and seen the progress from Las Vegas from 1963 when it was 60,000 people here.